you for the evening, Mr. Hugo Girl. You are looking particularly pioneering this evening. Yes, I do just have one question for you. Are you ready to break the glass ceiling this evening? Are you ready to proverbially burn your bras tonight? Are you ready to free the achievements of women throughout time from the shadows of history books into the light tonight? Welcome, my little adventurers. You are clearly in the right place. Uh, for those of you already two toasters, know quite where you are. <laughs> Congratulations. You have made awesome life choices because you're at Naked Girls Reading the Women of History Edition. Yeah! A lot of energy coming from the front. Very much appreciated. That was awesome. That was awesome. Honestly, I am so excited. Thank you all for being here. It's our last show of the year. It's very special. Sure, though, when lots next year, <laughs> yeah. uh, honestly, we have a spectacular show in store for you tonight. Tonight, we're going to be trekking through the literary legacy of history's most dope unsung heroines. Yes. <laughs> the pioneers and the picketers and the rebels and the revolutionaries, and we are going to tell their stories in the most dope way possible, and that is through the vessel of completely naked women. <laughs> upon preparing this extravaganza uh, that ironically many women of history would deeply disagree with this show concept. <laughs> There's probably a lot of second wave feminists just like rolling in their graves. Uh, and you know what I think about that? I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Okay, so uh, as always we have had so much fun researching all the beautiful girls and women we are going to be reading about tonight. Uh, it is, yeah, oh my goodness, it's a very special lineup. So we're going to be scaling a mountain of diverse literature for you this evening. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got some children's literature. We have some beautiful locally grown poetry. Uh, we have some rousing political speeches. And we also, of course, have some autobiographical excerpts, as is only, as is only fitting. Tonight is going to be really special. We're going to leave you feeling challenged and validated and inspired and send you out into the night with smiles on your faces and a bit of glitter in your hair. <laughs> ready to snatch hearts and snatch trophies and make history for yourselves. Are you guys ready for the show? Uh, you might have noticed that I did leave one type of literature off that little list. Uh, and that is fan fiction. Nobody panic. <laughs> Panic. So as is Naked Girls Reading Tradition, we always have a little bit of fan fiction in the lineup. Uh, this month was a little bit interesting. Uh, so I have learnt, over the years, I have learnt many a thing about myself and, uh, and society at large through the many late hours spent in very, very dark holes of the internet. <laughs> Finding you horny fuck smart for this show. <laughs> lessons compared to this one because this theme is women of history right so I was looking for fan fiction featuring strong women uh, and it is damn near impossible to find any fan fiction that features strong women in which they are not humiliated because the society is fucked yeah. Yeah. I say nearly because we did find some fan fiction that's really cute and you're gonna like it okay so nobody can <laughs> And the history of women and minorities are only like the electives, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> why, why is it that literally women's history is scrubbed from the record? Why is it that like outrageous achievement and successful women is seen as this like grievous affront to the natural order of things? Why? Patriarchy. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> answered the question. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, she's a great history student. Yeah, yeah. No, the point is we're going to have a 
great time tonight. And speaking of great times, oh my goodness, the cast! The cast tonight are just delicious. You guys are in for such a treat. We have some of the city's day, the country's most spectacularly clever sluts. And Hussie's here for you tonight! <laughs> They are beautiful inside and out. They are here for your visual and intellectual stimulation. And you know what I hear, folks? Uh, I hear that well-behaved women seldom make history. <laughs> if that is the case, someone call a fucking biographer, because tonight it's going to be legendary! <laughs> I'm very excited for the show. Okay, let's do this. Who's been to Naked Girls Ready before? Warm the cockles of my cold gay heart. Thank you. Thank you so freaking much. Uh, so, for you guys who've maybe heard the next few minutes of rant before, I will tell you what I tell the weird dudes who ask me intrusive questions about the show, uh, and that is fuck off, this isn't for you. Uh, so, uh, it's hand tight while I initiate the newbies. Hello, newbies! Reading. Oh, I'm so excited that you're here. What is Naked Girls Reading? I hear you ask silently and hypothetically and helpfully. That is such a good question. <laughs> such a good question. Uh, Naked Girls Reading has started about nine years ago out of the Chicago burlesque scene and has since filtered throughout the world to become a veritable international phenomenon and it has finally landed on New Zealand shores. <laughs> um, so I've been running the show for a little while now and I keep having the same conversation over and over and over and it goes like this. Naked girls reading? What's that? <laughs> to which I say, naked girls reading. <laughs> the answer is in the title. You should uh, maybe come to a show sometime because you clearly can't fucking read. <laughs> no, the thing is, is that these people totally have a point. Because naked girls reading as a combination of words doesn't really seem to go together, right? Seems a little incongruous. I have a theory about this. Would you like to know my theory about this? <laughs> are very nice and obliging and I appreciate it. Okay, so when we see naked women in the overwhelming majority of mainstream media, usually they are not exactly reading, right? In fact, usually they are portrayed in extremely exploitative and patriarchal contexts, and I think from this we get the idea that nudity is inherently anti-feminist. And to that we say, fuck you, shake our titties and go on with our body positive little lives. <laughs> Apparently you can't be smart and slutty at the same time. There is nothing more punk rock than getting on stage in the butt with a buck. Yes! In a world which profits from female insecurity, loving yourself and your body just as you are is a revolutionary act. Yes! Folks, literally all we are trying to do is just reconnect the naked female form with the people in them. Is it a radical notion? Welcome to the show. Yes! Uh, we are so close to getting our like, badass cast on the stage, it's going to be very exciting. There's a couple more things you need to know first. Uh, oh, first thing you need to know is who the fuck I am! Uh, uh, ladies, gentlemen, those of us with slightly more fashionable gender identities, uh, I will be your charmingly sub for the evening, Mr. Hugo Girl! I'm crying a little bit. Uh, yes, so I'm just everyone's favourite friendly neighbourhood transvestite. Uh, here to keep things sticking over smoothly and full to the brim of dick jokes. <laughs> hey, it is actually a really important job. <laughs> it's a really important job, a very difficult one actually. You could even say it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do you need to know? Oh my goodness, we have such cool prizes for you tonight. Everyone loves free stuff? <laughs> Free stuff. So we have been donated some awesome locally locally made goods. And if you stick around after the break, we do like a themed literary quiz. So if you guys can answer some women of history themed questions, uh, you can win some dope shit. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> and speaking of stuff, we have merch. We have tote bags at the door, which are at a criminally low discount of twenty bucks. <gasps> yes, yeah, yeah, twenty bucks. We are getting rid of them because we're making cooler shit next year. So please. <laughs> Please go and get yourself or a loved one a cool present. They're dirt cheap. All the money goes back to the local queer artists who put effort into making them. So don't be homophobic by our shit. <laughs> so like, did their name feel bad? <laughs> Thank you. All right, what else do you need to know? Please ensure that your cell phones are on silent or at, at least on silent and please turn it off. That would be dope. 
And while you're at it, please don't take any photos or videos of the show tonight. Uh, there's lots of reasons for this. Uh, well, the best one is that you're about to witness live theatre. <laughs> I know it's going to be magical and you're going to laugh and you're going to cry and it's going to be a whole experience and it's going to be so much better not through a cell phone screen to put it down for a night you won't regret it. But also, don't take pictures of naked people without the consent you creeps, okay? <laughs> Finally, fucking ready to meet this cast. Yeah! I am so excited. They are just so badass and brave, and they are going to need you to give them the most enthusiasm you can possibly muster because, goddammit, they deserve it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do some things. Please join me in extending your middle finger. Fantastic, fantastic. Briefly, fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> And now I'll bring them together like so. You guys are so good at that. So this is what we in the industry call clicking. You might have heard of it before. Uh, so uh, this is a great thing to do while a reading is happening. Uh, that is a great way of showing your appreciation that's a bit less intrusive than clapping or hollering. Yeah? We love hearing it. Please do it as much as you want. Uh, and also you can clap and holler as well because I'm not the boss of you. Okay? <laughs> We're going to do some yelling now. Yeah! But it's always nice to do some yelling, isn't it? <laughs> nice and cathartic. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out real quiet and real slow. You guys know the drill, you know how this works. Like you yell arbitrarily, it raises the energy, it makes it good for the performance. Just play along, okay? So um, <laughs> insufferable audience warm-ups, here we go. So we're gonna start out real quiet and slow. We're gonna build it to just raucous, then we're gonna give a big cheer, and then we're gonna meet our first badass and beautiful reader. Sound fucking good! Yeah! Here's what we're gonna do. Team A, Team B. We're gonna go. Bad bitches. It's Women of History Edition, we gotta make it themed, alright? So it's bad bitches. Yes. Bad bitches. Bad bitches. Bad. bitches. bad. 